Yeah, so it was a few days I couldn't sleep and I was wondering why and I was feeling funny symptoms and then I'm always checking. Like, I don't know if you saw my comments, whoever's following my channel, I went and uh, after a long time that they gave me these, this guy, I know he wasn't, well, maybe he was from the city, but anyways, he was, he was from the city, yeah, the SPVM or whatever, the undercover. And I have this bin, I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if there's some kind of thing that they know I'm sensitive to, but other people, because the thing is now, I have this bin in two bags, this bin for the composting. Now, unless I'm not going to use it, because obviously if I get sick, even with bags to touch it, it's amazing. It's like I went close today to my, uh, I was just trying to inspect if they put something, but it doesn't show, obviously, and it's odorless. Whatever they did to my uh, smoke detector, I got my face again. I feel like, oh my God, I got so sick today. And then I was saying, shit, I go, I'm getting worse. I don't know if I have to go to the hospital. I go, I can't be like... I'm getting worse and worse. Usually I put some things, I take some herbs, some vitamins, I feel a little better. This time I was feeling worse. So I go, well, okay. Let me see. Uh, I decided to take a walk around the thing. And I noticed they put, there were some people parked. And then, I don't know if I should show you, but this is like really weird. Hold on. Okay, so this is me in front of my, those black marks were in there. Now it could be a coincidence. See, one of them is, more towards my uh, little uh, warlock's back. So, not even two minutes, So, but I hope they upload. So what I'm saying is that, and see, I'm not even trying with a uh, selfie. Now, I want to do a selfie, and I've noticed every time I do a selfie, even if it's 10 minutes, it, it, it blocks. It doesn't even upload one minute. They have me checked from A to B, but this is what I mean. The world has gone really weird. I mean, so today for a while I panicked because I go, did they put a delayed switch on my uh, smoke detector, some kind of thing with a camera that when I go near it, they inject me with something fatal because between getting reinfected, I don't know what they put in that, nanites, uh, some kind of parasites that I'm only people like me, or is it a genetic kind of, I don't know, because I, I you think even me, if it was somebody else telling me this, I'd say, well, it's crazy. And if they wouldn't be, but then again, if they'd show me police with uh, vehicles and they showed me marks on their body, they showed me like sort of a scuffle with a STM and so And then they show me marks on their body that are bizarre. And then they have aches and pains on their shoulder or one of their shoulders. Like, you know what I mean? Things that have been going on during the pandemic that we were sort of coerced in. So this is what I mean. The world has gone banana, ape shit, crazy criminal. And... The fact that now, what do I do if they keep doing this, that now I, I, went in, I went a bit in the lobby. They have a camera. I used to even film from the lobby to say, hey, I know you're do putting something. And how do I, how do you know that I'm telling you the truth? Because I'm going to be sleepy. Why would I pay rent and then sleep in the lobby? <laughs> and I did there now only like 10 minutes or something like that. And. Now I open both windows, but because before I was scared even of opening my balcony door because I, I sometimes even there my hand gets all like with red marks like you've seen here that never go away. <laughs> oh, my life, I am telling you, uh, it's amazing because there's so many people that not only are mad at me, but for what? For saying, please, I'm sick, don't hurt me. But it doesn't matter for them, they're like, I'm their, like, you know, when uh, Sheldon goes uh, mortal enemy, I am their mortal enemy. But I didn't even do how, like, to get Sheldon mad doesn't take much. I didn't even do that to the police at Apopex. Well, okay, technically a little more. But what I mean is they're putting me to the point of, like, today I didn't know. And then at one point I go, yeah, but it still could be the pesticide. And, again, I filmed it, but now I'm going to show you. Well, I'll show from here because on the balcony, I don't know if they put something on my back. But they put that no parking. Now, it could be that they could have put it like, you know, like the sense. So now I open my door. I'm a little, it's not that I'm better. It's just that I I just don't know. Now I'm I, I'm a bit like more, not relaxed, but like more saying, do I call 911 or not? Even though, because, and now I hope they don't do it again. Tag team, meaning is they come, they put papers on my door that are contaminated. They, even my balcony one everything near my apartment and now even in my apartment now i showed you the black marks in the corridor maybe some people want to put a gas through my door or through the some kind of 
inside. I don't know how they would contaminate my apartment. I'm here. So me too, I'm, I'm befuddled. But I heard weird, like next door, there's the guy that he's there and he's not there. He's like, I don't know if he's even temporary there because he doesn't even talk. Like, and I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying, so I don't know when he's there or not. And I don't want to even knock on his door because I don't want to know nothing. Once I think I, I did, he did talk to me, but I didn't want to know nothing. He has so many social workers, people checking on him, allegedly protecting him. And sometimes, like I said, when they're there, uh, I go near the door and I get, again, this thing like sick. Like now I don't know if it's like when I went near the the smoke detector to check it. No, I didn't touch it. I just went near it. <laughs> and then my face and my head, and now I feel like that. And plus I feel like I said, okay, is it just that that's making me feel worse, worse, worse that I can't be in my apartment? I go, but what does that have to do with my apartment? I go, if I'm getting worse, I'm going to go out and say, if I keep getting worse, I'm going to go to the ER. But no, when I went out, I started feeling better. So that means not only that I get sprayed from my Imagine it's it's about 10 days at least that they put it. I think on the 17th. Yeah, on the 17th they put the... Uh, they didn't put... they they Yeah, they put something you know, on my smoke. They were just supposed to check if it was right. The guy wasn't supposed... The guy went on it and touched it. He put something to contaminate it. And now I'm always sick when I walk under it or something. I don't know. It's horrible. And... Obviously, they did it on purpose. I can't touch a smoke detector. Now, let them come up to me and say, we don't see you bringing your bin there. I'm going to say, oh, yeah. I said, I'm going to go get a used one myself. Give me an address that I could choose between them. Because they have a trick up their sleeve. Like I said, I do not think Saddam Hussein or Gaddafi or whatever, they didn't put that much effort. And me, they're still going to kill me. I think that's their wall or make it impossible to live here because what do they, like I know Apopex want, wants me to leave I have a paper that says that now I have a paper that says I imagine the police following me and attacking me both are provable well the, the KGB attacks are harder to prove but why would they be impossible if I have marks on my body <laughs> they're there even near my bus there's people crying around me and people are trying to like at some point today I, I even called my family and uh, see what's up and I shouldn't say this and they keep going with the narrative, yeah, but you're imagining. Why would the police fall? Yeah, why would, why, why would there be war in Ukraine if it used to be a country from uh, Russia? Why would they invade it if it used to be their country? And even if they separate it, why would they be trying to invade it? Maybe because they fear, just like Ukraine fears, it's going to be communism. Uh, Russia feel, feels it's going to be democratic. It's always about everybody fears the other person. When are people going to sit down and say, let's stop hurting each other? The experience of life would be better unless you're really so like attached to objects and money and control of others that you're just with your exterior senses. That's all you could see is how much you have, how much people you could crush. <laughs> Orange crush. No, it's all about... And me, even in this state that I don't know where to sleep, at what point I have to even decide to go to the hospital, whether it's by calling or now today, like when I was observing that it was my apartment making me more. Uh, I would start to take it two days, like only a, maybe at best an hour and a half in two days. I can't sleep in my apartment. I In the lobby, I slept maybe five minutes, ten minutes, but... And there they say it's a mental problem. I don't know. One day I might. It's not that I'm going to become aggressive or violent. It's that when are they going to realize the? It, it, it's not only the torture and that they're putting me to death and that it's ridiculous for me to try to move. But maybe even if now I might try to move. But then again, if I move, will the police still attack me there? And, then, and I don't know if they're going to buy out another building like these people here to let in undercover. They're mad at me, obviously. I went to court twice. And they don't forget, but I have to forget that every day they give me a paper that's contaminated. And I go, I know it comes from the orders of the direction. And I know that they saw me that one time, again, just like the other director, I was face to face. Meaning is if I was a vengeful person, knowing that my life is tortured every day, I would have done something by now, right? Like the doctors even say, oh, some people don't do nothing all their life and then they snap. Yeah, but some people have a reason. If people keep torturing them and following them and hurting... A police, you have to realize that if I was a regular person, like regular or unlighted, if I was a not even an, a mentally unstable person, just a person that's really macho, the way you make me out to be, or a person that likes triggering people, what would I have done by now? I already would have made paperwork and this, that, and I would have made complaints, more against Apopex, more against... Uh, no, it's just ridiculous. It's just... 
Like right now, I have enough papers to go even to the rental board. They said, oh, if you don't have enough proof, it's not about proof. It's just about saying, why do you guys want me out when you're the ones that made me sick when you said you would help me? Why do you do everything to kick me out? And so I don't know if now 10 minutes is going to upload. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to make complaints against anybody. I just want to know what can I do. And like I told them, if they find me an apartment, I pay the same way and they pay my move, then I'll move. But nowadays it's hard to even find a place. And everywhere I go, I could have different allergies. It doesn't have to be that they have to do it on purpose. That's why I'm saying, police, it's so cruel of you. You're getting so much karma. You, Apopex, by intentionally hurting me when my life is already, I don't know who to hang out with, who to get close to. I have to wear like, and that's some things I wear now are for these things that they attack me on. But the the mask, like I wear now, like a plastic, like I think I got it from when they used to give me oxygen before, when they used to put the elastic, not hold with your fingers so you can get my fingerprints. It's all about lies after lies after lies. Like I said, I have the video that the guy clearly says, what is the black bag doing behind the thing? And they have dark sunglasses, really dark, opaque, like there's no vision through them. Built and serious and tanned. And in the back, there's like... They think they're mis like everybody thinks their job like the same guy there. Everybody wants to be Mr. Cool just because they're part of a big organization that's Mr. Cool. Don't they realize spy jobs sooner or later you're gonna find out someone from another organization that pays them and motivates them and brainwashes them that you're the enemy? Don't you find that anything you do there's an opposite effect? Even me. I may let go, I may not even make complaints, and I may die in this torturous, horrible way, whether it's on the street, whether it's an aneurysm from these things, because I felt really pain in my heart, and my, my head, I felt my head was disconnected. This is even before I noticed that I couldn't, I had to have my door, I, I couldn't even be in my apartment. So why are you doing this? Don't you realize there's a cost just like there was a cost for me to ask help and do it. And I thought, oh, that, that was my macho Italian side. I admit being arrogant, taking not a lot on purpose, but it was still coming out that way, taking from my spiritual energy, which is powerful, and being obnoxious and arrogant. But look what happened to me. huh? And I was asking for help. Now, what are you doing, Apple? Illegal, criminal, non-moral. If you believe in karma, you're going to get a shitload of karma. Police, twice as much because they're supposed to serve and protect. Well, they served me a lot more pain and suffering and torture. Well, originally it was just psychological uh, spying and harassing. And then it got physical. Let's get physical. Uh, police, well, you might somebody have somebody else that's going to dish out that to you. You see the publicity is getting worse for the Montreal police. So... People are not stupid. People know I'm right. People are like laughing at my face when they say, well, we and some of them actually say it. I don't want to say who it said, no, I don't want to risk my job to help you. And even if they could a little, that much, because how can you stop the police? How can you stop the government? They are in total control. So this is what I'm saying. Stop yourself before someone or something stops you through karma, not me. I mean, I, God knows whether it's legal or illegal or, or witchcraft or voodoo or just karma. I could use anything. Like I said, I have carte blanche to go even extra than what you've done to me because you keep doing it with intent every day. You keep punishing. And you know what kind of, you don't know what kind of hell oh man, people. You have no idea how it feels to be totally, in, and not only to be not in control where you sleep, how you dress when you go out, even to get bread and water. Not only you can't see people, people don't want to talk to you, not even on the phone, but that everybody says that you're crazy to imagine that the police and the, the company that's supposed to would actually hurt you when it's on paper that they want you out, when it's on paper that they called you crazy. Yeah, but then again, you're crazy because you think they would hurt you. And the marks on my body and the vehicles are there by coincidence. Uh, how many coincidences are there? Huh? How many coincidences are there that governments all over the world send police to harass and beat up and jail people for absolutely no reason sometimes, almost no reason, just to step out of line a little bit or just to express themselves? And even in Montreal, they said these groups, they said, oh, we were, we're going to leave before the, even a day or two before that deadline because we're scared police is going to be brutal towards us. So this is what you want, police. This is what you get. And 
now this is what I'm making. Unless it was a test drive, it, it, but it was. They already did this, like what happened to, the, I think, similar. I'm not sure, but then again, all I know is now I'm sure I couldn't be in my apartment. I tested it. I didn't film when I went in the lobby because they would have thought whatever. I don't know. I just don't want to start because they always could make up a rule you can't do this you can't do that they have post-its for this now outside we can't put the garbage outside so if it's filled the bins where do we put it and then you get five thousand dollars so it's like where do you put your garbage well we put it downstairs but i don't understand they have all these rules and they keep putting them on my door i see them downstairs and i told you in an email apoplex i don't want nothing on my door but then again how would you hurt me if you don't do something to hurt me right like police, if they don't come close to me, like the guy, oh, we have a letter for you, open it, you're going to take your bins. Yeah, I'll take the poison bins with gloves and a gas mask, and I still got sick, and now they're in two bags. I dare the city to tell me why I'm not using the bins when I bring the bags, and whether they're recyclable bags or I just dump it from another bag in the composting, but I don't usually compost, I don't have enough money to... <laughs> and then some things I just like flush because I don't want to, you know, whatever, make it smell in the garbage. So I hope they don't find me for that huh? because anything I do that's even right or minimally like not perfect, I get punished for. And I get punished for especially things I didn't do that I could be a danger. Even though if I could be a danger, it's the people that attack me on purpose, whether it's sneaky or just send people to punch me, but I'm not allowed to defend him. So this is the crime Apopex and police in Montreal are doing to me. Putting me in a situation where I can't even breathe, I can't sleep in my apartment. Wherever I go near my doors, I have papers, I have contaminated things that I feel like my, my head is disconnected sometimes and I'm losing consciousness. I feel I'm a, like a zombie sometimes full of weird whatever, nanites, parasites, like burning, itching, numbness all over, like crawling all over my body. Beautiful police. You are angels of death. And one day, maybe, if a real angel of death exists, they all must, they must come and visit you. Because what you're doing to me is not a day, it's not a warning, it's not a month, it's not a, 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 a gaslight, it's not a, a, a putting me in my place and showing me who's boss. No, this is overkill. You know what overkill means? Do people know what overkill is? Like, I can't sleep in my apartment. I can't go out. Where do I go? And even if I could find something that's not even as comfortable and as whatever as here, how comfortable and then it used to be if I wouldn't be attacked on purpose, where when the police follows me, it wouldn't change much. So unless police, you prove to me you're not attacking me anymore now until I look for another apartment. But now, first, I'm going to look to make complaints on both of you, uh, Popex, because unless you stop this, now, thank God you did this. So like that, you're showing me that the info I'm going to get, whatever I can do, even if something is not going to make me win, just to show you, hey, I'm not a punching bag. I never did anything to deserve this. You deserve to be jailed for life. You and the police, all the direction, whoever's giving you orders. To, and you know this. Imagine if following somebody is already wrong for no, but hurting them to the point that they could, they're telling you on the, uh, I'm losing consciousness. And then on top of that, saying you're crazy that you're imagining it. Of course, you, police never does anything wrong, right? Even when they actually attack someone, they, they say it's the other person's fault. Obviously, that's all you're going to say. So this is what I mean. This is the crime that you think there is no laws to protect me. Spiritual laws, I mean. And maybe you're right. <laughs> we'll see. All I can say is it's horrendous that today I had to find out if I had to go to the hospital because my social, oh, but if you're very ill, you're going to go to the hospital. Like she doesn't want, she wants to make sure she, she knows that she said her part. She didn't say, like usual, uh, uh, do you feel like hurting someone? Uh, I No comment, I see. If you were in my place, I'm sure my social worker, police, Apopex, you would want to hurt someone if you were in my place, especially the people. Obviously, you're hurting me and I'm asking for help. So just imagine if I was poking at you, putting products to make you sick where you sleep, uh, Apopex. Every time posting a paper that you have to and coming, I have a paper from the city and you come in and you keep attacking me and attacking me and attacking me and attacking me and attacking. Imagine how you'd feel. Instead of imagining how good you feel now because what? 
even though you kill me, so what? And no, and people think I died of fear because I imagined the police following me. They're on video. I imagined that they attacked me, but I have marks on my body. But I can't prove in the act. I think somebody in my family today said, but I never saw them do it. Yeah, well, yeah, wait, they're going to say, hey, come here, film. Uh, we'll look at this gadget, uh, the K3-2000. Uh, they, it's like that uh, tete uh, the this uh, cutter, uh, this special gadget. Yeah, they're going to do that, right? Idiots, people, idiots telling me because they're not in my shoes. But I just hope all my family and friends that could lift a finger to help, that they get a bit of this treatment before their life ends. Just so you could know, I got warned. Persona visata, mezza salvata. Something like that. The saying is, a person warned is half saved. Only if you listen. Only if you listen. I look tortured. I look tired. I look that I even admitted I was about to go to the yard today if I kept feeling sick like that outside, even if it was their products. But what gives you the certainty that karma does not exist? I'm not the only one that believes in it. And I'm not a religious fanatic. You know, I'm just a basic saying, hey, fudge. This year especially, but even two years ago, I started saying, hey, this, 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 this. Even when I was young, some things happened, and I hope, because there's some families that I had, uh, let's just say some bad luck, and I hope they don't blame it on me, because I knew some people that passed away. It's not my fault. People that have accidents, like even somebody in my family, it's not my fault, and I never think anything bad. But now I'm starting to realize when people hurt me unnecessarily, Things like that do happen, tend to happen. And that's why I'm concerned for real for you, police and Apopec staff or whoever gives orders to this shit. I'm not even thinking of the person that attacks me. Well, sometimes when they're very well aware, like the guy at the door, oh my God. If I'd see that face again and that, because he just contaminated, I can't even go, like, I don't know. I don't want to say how stressed I am that they are allowed putting things that are contaminated in my building and making it look as if they're doing things to help me. <laughs> like every time they put a sheet, that's for my benefit. No, it's to hurt me and make me seriously ill. So why do you feel good doing this, police, Apopex? Why? I, that's, I wish I could have that answer. That's what I'm looking for. It's like asking a serial killer, why did you do it? Well, uh, it felt good. You know, I know it feels good, obviously. I don't know the, how it feels because even when I did feel when I was young, burning ants, feeling good, now I'm regretting it and I'm feeling as if I was burning uh, babies. You know what I mean? Like for me, even an ant, even a virus, sometimes I feel bad when I take herbs to kill viruses because... They're alive. Well, actually, viruses aren't. That commercial is not valid. But I think bacteria, well, parasites are. And I try to kill as many as possible. I don't even know if they're nanites. It does feel like nanites, what they give me. Because it stays, if it was parasites, why would they stay on a smoke detector for 10 days without feeding on, I don't have any marks, I didn't feel anything in my apartment. Just when I go close to it, it's like saying it is a contamination. It's almost like the pesticide now. It's some kind of product, whether it's Apopex or the police that put it, I can be in my apartment. Now, who do I blame? I don't want to put the blame. I just want it to stop. Please, Apopex, stop attacking me. You're still in time to make me avoid do a, doing an official complaint. See, unlike you guys, sneaky and surprise attacks and surprise uh, fake uh, whatever papers and things that you make up to punish me. But I don't surprise anybody. I say, please, I want to avoid conflict. I'm still saying, please, please, please stop attacking. Oh, but wait a minute. The more you say it, but that's kids, no? The more you say don't do that, the more they do. I think, I don't want to say it, but... Oh my God, almost half an hour. It's never going to work. Good vibes. <laughs> like, subscribe, and notice what a beautiful life I have. Should I look at a selfie? No, I'm not allowed making a selfie. They don't want. I wonder why. Is it because maybe if I die, they don't want nobody to remember my face and the uh, police and Apopex to go with it? I notice that every time I put my selfie, that's why I'm not doing it now, it just blocks. Not even 1% gets uploaded. But when I don't put my face, it does. So you see what I mean? Is vocally I'm crazy, but if it's my face, some people say, "Shit, that guy! Look at the way he's dressed and like the marks." Are, whatever they you, they know why they don't want me to do a selfie uh, video. I have an idea. So good vibes and. <laughs>
I fear, sure, if I could turn back time, I wouldn't piss the police off. <laughs> but I did not know that I was pissing the police off by asking for help assertively and with video or whatever. Not even video, it was just audio. So if I could turn back time, police, if only you could stop too, because once the karma comes, just like that water main, it broke, and people might not even associate it with me. And I'm not taking credit for that. I'm just saying the karma is taking credit for whatever is going to happen to Montreal. The Montreal Canadians, when I, it, I, they hadn't done good for a while, like that good. But the year that I started getting stressed, I used to still watch hockey and get distracted by my being followed. But when it started being like that I was downtown, I saw all this police. I go, well, now at least here they're more for the, the team. And I go, why should I cheer them on? It was like the second to last game when they got eliminated. And they came uh, second place in the in the whole NHL. And then they started not even getting into the semifinals. Does that make sense to you? And I started saying in videos, even before I noticed the pattern, I said, I can't cheer on the Montreal Canadiens yet. And I was saying to my social work. Just imagine they don't even get to the semi. Oh, just because they lost two games back to back. Then from two games, they went to nine games one time. They lost back to back. But I don't, I'm not happy for that. I just want people to notice, just like me, doing this video probably makes you, God, ah, let's punish them even more. Because that's all you know is punishment and controlling others. But can you not punish yourself? Can you take a grip of your evil and let it go? Can you control yourself instead of trying to control others? That would be a start. Me saying this is like my my final will and testament. Every video that talks about me and not just a share with other videos, 90% of the other video. Because I find my life is forfeit. That's how it looks like. Because it hasn't been in my control for the last five years. And physically, it has been just torture after torture after torture. And I'm happy... If you're happy about that, but knowing knowing that one day you'll notice it was wasted time and it just bought you a shitload of similar treatment than what you're doing to me. Maybe not by me, not even by uh, if I'd win in court, would it not even be close to what you will? And, I'm, and, and I seem repetitive and I seem almost like bitter. No, I just think if you haven't noticed yet, you might. And don't be surprised. Like me, I'm not surprised what happened today. I just wanted to... <laughs> get vibes. See, at least, at least, now that I have windows, doors open. And I noticed that downstairs on the lobby, the window is open. And at night, it gets about 15 degrees. On my floor, usually, even in winter, the, door, the window's open. Today, it was closed. I wonder. And there was like street, black streak marks on my corridors. Did someone do something near my apartment to make me ill in my apartment? Probably, probably. So, good vibes. Leave some comments if you dare. <laughs> Namaste.